Hello, this is Aileen. I hope this PMP sample question helps you on your pursuit of your PMP credential. Your project is to construct a new office building. As you are developing the network diagram, you realize the landscaping could be scheduled to start two weeks prior to the scheduled punch list completion. You most likely will show this relationship in your diagram using A. So what are key words or phrases in the question? Most likely. Okay. So maybe most likely. Other key words or phrases? Prior. Okay. Prior. So maybe a key word might be prior. For me, a key word or phrase would be network diagram. That tells me most likely I'm in the process sequence activities. Another key word or phrase would be start two weeks prior. So I heard that from someone. Another key word or phrase would be to the schedule of punch list completion. My next question, this is a real tricky one, so think about it. Is this a finished start relationship? Or is this a start to finish? So remember, finish to start is much more common. Start to finish hardly ever occurs. Landscaping being scheduled two weeks prior to the schedule publish. Start to finish outside. Would everyone agree it's a tricky question? It Let is. me word my question, a question differently. Is the start of an activity driving the finish of the other one? Or is it the finish of an activity driving the start of the other one? I think the finish is driving the start. Okay, great. So I'm not sure who said that, but it's the finish of the punch list. Yes. That's going to drive the starts of the landscaping. So I'm saying this is a finish to start relationship. If that's true, I can say answer A and answer C are wrong. Again, why am I saying this? I'm saying the finish or the completion of the punch list is allowing us to start okay, the landscaping. Okay? But then they talk about two weeks prior, okay? So two weeks prior, is that allowing us to, to start early or is that causing a delay? When you hear or read the word prior, is that early or is that a delay? Early. So prior means early. When you look at answer B and D, would you associate starting early with a lead, which would be answer B, or with a lag, which would be answer D? Lead. Okay, a lead. Therefore, lead, I would say answer B, bravo, B is the right answer. D, lag, if they wanted D to be the answer, it wouldn't be two weeks prior, it would be two weeks after. Right. This is a very, very tricky question. <coughs> Let's ask ourselves, what did we learn or what, what did we review in this question? <coughs> Hopefully we learned about a lead. Okay. So a lead allows a successor activity to advance in relation to a predecessor. So activity C here might be the completion <coughs> of the punch list. And before the punch list is completed, we could start work on the landscaping. On the right side, I talk about a lag. A lag forces a delay in a relationship. Let's say activity E is to paint my wall and activity F is to hang pictures on the wall. I have a two day lag because I want my paint to dry. Again, the takeaway here, if you're struggling with leads and lags, make sure you review this. Make sure you look at a few sample questions that have leads or lags. Again, most of you already have my network diagramming book and you've seen sample questions on this.
Hello, Aileen here again. I hope this sample question helped you. For over a thousand more sample questions similar to this one, please join our self-study program online with Aileen.